but elsewhere in the West, <laughs> everybody's worried about it. And this is Ireland's very specific concern of how they might be in the middle of it in a way they really do not want to be in the middle of it. The problem is for all of Ireland's concern about it, and for as forewarned and forearmed as they are about it because of that Russian spy ship turning off their, off their coast just a few months ago, there's not much that Ireland itself can do about it. I mean, Ireland, I mean, no offense, but they do not have much of a navy. Um, Ireland literally has no military radar in the entire country. They don't have military radar. They have navigational radar, but no military radar. Ireland does not have a single ship that's capable of, like, launching a helicopter off of it. They just, they just don't have that kind of military capacity. So what can they do? Well, you know what Ireland does have to defend itself in this instance? It has very annoyed fishermen, Irish fishermen who are so mad about what Russia's gonna do with these war games off their coast next week that they, the fishermen, say that they personally have a plan to stop it. Fishermen say they're considering plans to peacefully disrupt Russian naval exercises off the southwest coast next month. The decision by the Russian Navy to conduct live gunnery and a missile firing exercise 160 nautical miles off the Mizzen next month is causing huge concern for fishermen gathered on the pier in Castletown there this morning. If, you, if someone came into your backyard and said they were doing a an army exercise, you would be happy about to do light, light fire. The Russian military exercise is due to take place over five days near the Porcupine Bight, an area within Ireland's exclusive economic zone, rich with prawns and blue whiting, giving rise to fears for the fishing grounds and marine life. They're not going to be firing bow and arrows at each other, you know what I mean? So this is a live exercise and it's massive. Fishermen say that up to 60 trawlers will fish in the area in peaceful protest in the hope that it will disrupt the Russian maneuvers. So our process is our presence outside there, that we're going to continue to fish out there, and we're raising the awareness that we're there when this is happening. The sea is our working environment. It's where we should be safe. We shouldn't be dealing with this type of interference with our livelihoods, and, and no communications about it. In a statement this evening, the Russian embassy said that it had spoken to the fishermen's organization and said that while it understands its concerns, any attempt to interfere with the military exercise would be a reckless and irresponsible act which could put both sailors and fishermen in harm's way. Jenny O'Sullivan, RTE News, Castletown Bear. It's not 